Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is Yasmin in isolation. So if you saw my video upload yesterday, yesterday's upload was not in isolation. It was filmed a good couple of months ago, but I had not had the opportunity to do the next one of that because you know, you go like you get your period once a month. So I waited until now and it's probably been three cycles since that um, until I've actually used this for the very first time. Now I know most of my subscribers are men. Sometimes I do videos specifically for girls. So if you are a girl and you're brand new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a guy and you don't want to hear about my periods, then I guess you know what, there are other videos of mine within my channel that you can watch instead. But if you do want to know about my periods, then this is the video for you. It's specifically about using a first experience with the Intamina Lily Cup Compact. So if, within that previous video, I had been using my menstrual I'm going to show you so I had previously used in that particular video the Intamina Ziggy cup right um but however I had also been using these menstrual cups here like there's one and there's the other one and I've done previous videos about my experience with these and all seemed okay until that time last, that cycle that I did this. So I couldn't work out whether it was this disc, which I'm going to say it's a disc, even though they advertise it as a cup or a disc. But I think it's a disc because it's a disc and that's a cup. But, you know, pushing against my urethra or was it because these flappy things were like hanging outside of, the opening of my vagina and irritated my urethra or was it because these I have no idea what kind of grade silicon these, these are so anyhow I want to really love this and I want to really love cups before I switched to sustainable products for my periods I was a tampon user like occasionally I would wear a pad at night and I am using cloth pads now and I really really love them and even when I do because I know and I'm optimistic that I will love a cup eventually I just have to find the right one for me and I have to you know use it regularly to get to get used to it um, that I would probably still be wearing cloth pads at night just because I feel with me that that's what I personally feel like doing. Now with these cups here, they do advertise you can wear them for 12 hours, which is fine. Something like personally, I don't feel comfortable with doing that for 12 hours. I just don't. Like I, I would never keep a tampon in for 12 hours, so I'm not going to keep a cup in there for 12 hours. But they claim that they do. So I guess that's your personal discretion if you want to keep that in. I mean, in my mind... There have been times like when I'm trying them out and going, yeah, I want to try and keep it in for 12 hours, but come like about six hours in, I feel like, oh, I feel like I should just get it out because I guess it's kind of like instilled in my brain from being a tampon user and, you know, you need to change them regularly because if you leave it in, you can get toxic shock syndrome, which I'm not saying you can do from cups. Apparently some people have, some people haven't. Um, so I guess, you know, personal discretion if you want to go down that line or not now. This video, I'm just going to point out also, I've done something completely different in this video than what I've done in previous period videos as well, and that is that I show you blood. So if you are triggered by blood, if you are squeamish by blood, if you don't want to see that in any kind of way, then you know what? There are other, other videos for you. Now, if you do want to watch it and you're squeamish, within the blood bits, I do give you the heads up before the blood bits, so you can fast forward if you want to do that option as well. So there are a couple of options there. Now, if you want to see the blood or if you don't really care, then that's fine. You can continue watching because within this video, I'm going to intro it as per normal, how I intro it and do it completely to the end um, and then give you my actual, what I feel at the very end of this video. But just to show you, this is how it came. Now, I'm going to take this out of the box and everything. You're going to see it from the actual start, um, but that's a compact um, it is really small and just watch the video because, and then watch the very end about how I found this at the end. Now, this is the first impression. This is the first time that I have used this particular cup. And what happened was, so the, I 
wrote to the company Intamina and I said, you know, look, I really don't like this product at all, like the disc, the Ziggy Cup. And um, it is a cup, like a Ziggy Cup, but technically I feel it's a disc, but you know, um, because I did get the UTI and one, it could possibly have been from pushing on my urethra um, and, and everything. So, and I got BV as well. So something definitely went funny on that, that time. So they were very kind in me and sending me this. Um, at no cost to me but this is not a sponsored video they didn't even know about this channel so this is not a sponsored video in any kind of way this is an open honest video that even if I had paid for this I would have done this anyway so just to be honest that the company was really good and sent me out this because you know they obviously want me to get used to using a cup and everything and the more people that like them and use them and talk about them the better it is for the environment and for them but in saying that as well yeah, I didn't pay for this, but I paid for the Ziggy Cup, but you know what I mean? I paid for it in other ways because I got two infections, but I don't know if it was from that or the other thing. But anyway, so this is an honest review and no, it's not sponsored at all. Um, so yeah, watch to the very end and I'll tell you exactly what I think. Just to give you a flashback, there are two things that I feel that I did, that I did before this virus eventuated that was like the best things I did the first thing that I did was I went down to Mogozu and I visited the little new line cup there called Phoenix and then I also hand fed a really really rare white line so that was like something that I did before we all went into isolation and lockdown and stuff but the second thing that I did which you know in hindsight was like the amazing was I actually switched to sustainable menstrual products um, reusable menstrual pads which are cloth bamboo I've done a previous video about that and also like menstrual cup, cup menstrual disc and stuff so it's like really one less thing that I have to worry about people panic buying not that I have seen people panic buying all the menstrual products for some weird reason like they're going out and buying all the toilet paper but like they're not buying up all the sanitary products which is equally as usable but anyway I'm really glad that I made the switch before all this happened because I really like don't have to go and worry about all that despite the fact that I still have all of these in my possession I'm not using them they are there I guess you know if I have a girlfriend over and she's like oh babe I've got my period you have something like I've got something to give her right because as much as I love my girlfriends I don't want to share my menstrual pads with them or their menstrual cup with them no nah. so with that previous video that I did, um, it was about the the disc, which I'm not going to go into this, but it's the same manufacturer as this disc right here. Um, I did get a UTI and BV, but I don't know if it was from this because I didn't get a UTI or BV the month before and I used this. I have a funny feeling, a really funny feeling, that it might have been from one of these cups. Um, because these cups I got off eBay, I don't know what grade of silicone that they are. They just came like that and I did sleep with it in as well. So whether or not, like I don't, I don't really know. But however, the manufacturer in Tamina was really generous in sending me out a something of difference that I wanted. Right, so um, I chose this one and the reason that I chose the Lily Cup Compact was because... I have a low lying cervix during my period and when I'd used another cup I found that it like was too low which could have been a reason why I got the UTI as well because like that little stick thing pokes out the bottom and it could have just rubbed against my urethra or something so they suggested that I use this one because it's a lot smaller now I really like the packaging of this I'm not gonna lie look the the disc one that one um, it came, I mean, they call that a cup as well, but for me, it's a disc, but they call it a cup. That came in this plastic case packaging, which I didn't really like. This came in paper, so you can, you know, I guess I could go in the recycling bin. It's better than a whole bunch of plastic that is, yeah. So it also came with its own little, like, plastic case thing that you can store it in um, with little breathable holes. Can I be honest? I actually prefer this case. The reason I prefer this case is it's like gonna last forever, right? Even though it's got like an open little hole. I feel this plastic thing is just a little bit flimsy. That thing that joins it, if I don't throw it away, <laughs> will like probably, I don't know, break over time, I guess. And then again, that's like plastic that will 
I mean, I'm not going to, I'm going to make sure it goes to the right place to be inged off properly. So this is the um, Lily Cup Compact. Now, I have not used this yet. I'm going to use that this period now. Now I'm on my period now. Um, now, with this particular one, you can fold it so it it's a compact, right? So it pops in like those little holes. So when you're not in use... Now, because I'm in isolation, like the sucky thing is, is that I have no one to have sex with. So I can't have, like, trial this out with the disc at the same time to make sure I didn't get a UTI, to, like, rule out that it wasn't that. So, yeah, that, so that sits really comfortably, like so. So I can always, like, sterilize it and keep it compact like that, which I guess, well, the name is <sighs> Lily Cup Compact. Well, you know what? It is compact. Um, now... I have to sterilize this because I have not done so yet. And they did say to me that I can, if I want to, snip that thing off, like that bottom bit. This is going to help me pull it out when I go to take this out. So I'm going to try without cutting that thing off first. And then if I have to, I'll cut it off because this is pretty small. So my period started Wednesday night late and today is Saturday midday. So Thursday, Friday, like two and a half days in. I've still got a pretty decent flow, but I'm not like mega heavy like yesterday was. So I'm going to boil it twice as per the instructions that they did advise. Um, I'm going to also give this, I'm not going to boil this plastic because plastic isn't safe to boil and it's just not. Silicone is safe to boil, plastic is not. So this I would have to clean with isopropyl alcohol or something of the like, like methylated spirits. So I'm going to give this a couple of boil, um, boils and then I'm going to pop it in. Okay, you guys. So I'm just going to point out right now that this video is going to be talking about period. I'm going to be talking about the blood. I'm actually going to be showing you the blood in this video. So if this will trigger you in any way, if you're going to get grossed out by this in any way, maybe go and watch like another video on YouTube and don't watch this one. I have to give this to you as like a disclaimer about that. Like, yeah, I'm going to be talking about blood and exactly and in, in detail about everything that's going on inside when I'm using this thing. Um, but if you don't like that, if you're going to be grossed out about it, I guess go like watch another video or one of my other videos and stuff. But if you're not grossed out by that and you really want to see it or you really want to hear about it, then this is the video for you. So, I've already washed my hands, but let's just be hygienic and wash them again. You know, we are in coronavirus season, so um, 20 seconds. Make sure you give them a good clean before you put them in your JJ. before you put them anywhere. Some people don't clean their hands properly. You know, like throughout this whole thing, I hope that people start to practice better hygiene. Yeah. Some people wash their hands and they just quickly like rinse it under the tap and it's like, that's not how you wash your hands. So disinfected, sterilized this baby here. Now how I put in the discs as per usual is I give them a squish like so and I pop it in and then I let it pop open and I run my finger around to make sure it's flush on my cervix. So let's just give this a go here. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to do like a little bit of a thing here that might gross some of you out, so we're going to get to a bit of a blood bit, but uh, yeah, so when you put in a cup, I guess it's like worse than putting in a tampon because you've got to like dig right in there and you know what I mean? So you've got to push it like right, and I think it's like all the way in there. I'm pretty sure it is, but uh, yeah, anyway, so that's what it's like putting in a cup. It's more than putting in a tampon. So anyway, a bit more. That's just the thing about like, putting in a cup, but you're doing the right thing by your environment, aren't you? Because I have also, this is another blood bit guy, because I've also been wearing a cloth pad, I'm going to wash this out 
and put in a fresh one so I'll know if I'm leaking through this I know that it's the cup right like okay so it's only been a few hours but I need to use a restroom anyway so I figured I might as well check on the cup because I am super curious right so, wash your hands I mean it is a really little cup this cup um, what I'm also going to point out guys as well is that this is a blood drip coming up okay so I'm going to be showing you real blood and if this triggers you or you're squeamish please just turn around and don't watch or like stop this video definitely caught blood yeah but it also went on the outside as well so it filled up to there um, from like it's been in for four like three hours so but it is kind of like a heavy-ish day but yeah you can see that's how much it filled in so manufacturers do say that you can rinse this out and reinsert it but after what happened to me last time I'm kind of just with my own sensitivities and stuff I'm kind of reluctant to do that. Oops, that just some of that just splattered on my neck. I kind of just want to boil it again. So let me just keep on doing this throughout my cycle, and I'm going to finish this off at like the very end after I've used this quite a few times because, like, that blood that was on the outside could have been because I had been using pads for the first three days. So you know, nothing was like being absorbed up there all the time. But I'll continue to use this and uh, reboil it after each use just because that's going to be my personal preference and touch back with you. Yesterday was a complete and utter disaster so it actually did push all the way in and kind of like flatten and so when I took it out like a few days a few hours later like the blood had like gone on the outside and like there was this much in the cup like it was a complete another disaster look i'm gonna give credit like it, they do recommend that you use these for three months um to get used to it so i'm not gonna give up on it but at this stage i'm still preferring cloth pads so now day like from full flow so my period started late wednesday like wednesday night thursday friday saturday sunday day five so i've got a flow but it's like kind of regular now so you can see like it pushed all the way in i've boiled this now twice because after that i was just like i can't be bothered dealing with this again so here we go let's see how this goes today it should last me for 12 hours definitely today because i'm not heavy at all okay like so when i just want to get all the moisture out of it like i'm kind of Don't want to get BB from this stuff again. Anyway, they say like don't use harsh cleaners on these, but like I'm used to using Bioclean or you know 100% alcohol or you know Bioclean to clean like my toys if you know what I mean and stuff. So to not be able to use a harsh cleaner on this for me, I'm kind of like should I? Because that would mean that it will definitely be more sterile. They say just to boil it. They just say that the harsh cleaners can wear down the silicone, but like if it's medical grade silicone, how can it wear down? This is what I don't understand. So if you have like suggestions or comments, please do comment below. Um, in relation to that dough, like I find this super comfy, needless to say, and it fits in me perfectly, even with a low lying cervix and that thing still on it because it is small. So I will give it credit that it is super comfortable more so than the other ones. But I just want it to... Look, the first day was fine. I did, I did, um, I did that okay. It was just that, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so here goes again. Things are so hard to get in. Okay, look, I feel like I pushed it in as far as I can. And like I went around the outside and just kind of like went around it. Um, I feel like it could have gone up a bit more, but the thing is it just won't like, I don't know. Like I feel like because it's so collapsible that if I push it, those things will collapse like how it did yesterday. So I don't know. It's in now. It's about nine o'clock. We're going to see how this one goes. 
hopefully it lasts the 12 hours because anyway I'm wearing a cloth pad anyway as a little backup so I'm a little excited because I've been to the toilet several times I know in America that's really rude and I should say restroom but hey you're here looking at my blood so you know what I don't care I'll just say, say toilet so wash my hands so I've been to the restroom several times to do number one and number two and I'm a little excited because even when I did number twos like when I use the menstrual cup the other one when I would do number twos I would push it out whilst I was pushing to do the number two and then also like I haven't noticed any blood when I've wiped there's been no leakage so I'm super excited look it hasn't been the full 12 hours I'm going to say that because it's been six hours. That's still a significant amount of time. And let's face it, if I had a tampon inside me, I would be changing it by now. So I kind of like don't, I don't know. That's just me and my personal thing that I don't want to leave something inside of me for 12 hours. I just don't feel okay with that. But I guess, you know what, I would know considering how much blood will be in it and it's day five. Use your intuition with that. That's all I'm going to say is, you know, if you don't feel right keeping something inside of you for 12 hours, that's just what it claims. It can, which will be really good if you need to go out and do a bunch of stuff. For me, I'm not. I'm at home and I just want to take it out now. So this time it came, it's coming out a lot easier this time. It makes this like, like pulling off my, I, that means I definitely got it in right this time. Because I got this baby out. Okay, that's like really weird. How did that happen? Okay, like maybe I'm just like not bleeding much today at all, and that's why. So on the outside, there is not much, which means I wasn't like really bleeding on the outside of it, but on the inside, there's just a little bit of dark clot. So I guess, you know what, maybe I'm just too light in my flow for it to really be catching very much at all. Um, so that was my open and honest video. I'm gonna be completely frank and just say that even the company said they recommend that you try this out for three full cycles or any of their products for three full cycles before making a complete ultimatum as to whether or not it is for you or is for not. Now, the first thing I'm gonna say that it is for me is that um, the size was really good for me. Like I felt that this fit me perfectly down below. Like I felt it not too big, like the bottom bit did not protrude, like that bit compared to even the smallest one of these that I had is a lot smaller, like a lot, lot smaller. Like that is really long. I mean, even then, this is smaller again from this is the smallest one that I ordered last time. This is a teeny weeny little cup. And I actually feel that this size is perfect for my anatomy and how I'm built, right? I've not had kids and I just feel that this is good for me, especially because in my period, I have a low lying cervix. So this did not protrude in any way. Now, in saying that as well, it did take a bit more effort to get this in and out. Like I felt like, look, I didn't put any lube on it or anything. Um, I put it in like so and pushed it in, but I felt like, oh, is it going to be right now? I knew it would gone all the way because when I was trying to get it out, I heard the <laughs> and the pulling, like it sucks on your cervix. Like it doesn't suck as in hers, but you know that it's been sealed all the way. So I know that I got this the right way up. Now to pull it out, it did take a little bit, me a bit more effort and maybe because, look, it's not as big. This bit isn't as big, but am I complaining about that? No, because it fit in me perfectly. Like... <laughs> It fit in me perfectly in the sense that, like, I couldn't feel it. You know when you put a tampon in and you put it all the way up and it's in the right spot, you know it's in the right spot because you can't feel it? Well, same thing goes with the cup. Is if you can feel it, like I could feel those other ones kind of, um, it's not all the way in properly. Okay, and my theory is that why people get leakage when using these I feel as though it's not leakage per se. I feel as though, like, if you're a tampon user, the actual cotton is constantly absorbing. So anything that's around the walls of your vagina when you've got a tampon in 
is absorbing your blood. So by the time you've put another one in, there's not much there to really be absorbed. Now these are not absorbent. So there's gonna be blood on the walls of your vagina all the time throughout your period, right? Like even when you pull this out, there's gonna be blood on the walls. So by putting this in, there's still be blood on the walls and I feel as though it is blood on the walls that people are experiencing and not leakage itself. Now, the second time that I wore this, it was completely leakage and that was because I'd had put it in, like when I was putting it in, I was pushing it in through like that, like it was my mechanism fault and yeah, it probably wasn't in the right way and probably overflowed or something like it. I, I, it was a complete failure on my part. But I believe, I actually have faith in this product, to be quite honest. And this isn't like, look, it didn't work. By the time I felt like the third time I used it, even the first time, I think I got it in all the way. But the third time, I really felt like I mastered the, the putting in. Like I put it in and I was able to run my fingers all, finger all the way around the outside of this that I I'm confident. It was just a shame that yesterday um, I didn't have much of a flow to really compare it to, but all of the flow had got inside and it filled to about there. It was just filled to about there worth of clot, pretty much. It was just clot. So um, I have not given up on this product. I think that it's actually going to be really good for me, to be completely honest. I have not got a UTI. I have not experienced any smell down there like BV um, but the one thing that I am definitely doing is I do not also just rinse it out like how I did with the other time because other people do that and they say that you can do that is rinse your cup out and then stick it back in no not for me that's not for me I boil it each use which is going to be a little bit of a pain if you have to change it when you're on the go so I guess like if you are on the go, then always have your backup cup or your backup cloth pad or backup something if you have to take it out on the go and you don't want to just like rinse it out in water because I can tell you for me, that's not something that I'll ever do again because I just had a funny feeling about it and yeah, that kind of funny feeling was my gut instinct and it was right. So I might do another one of these videos next period as well because I am in isolation. And well, if I'm in isolation, I really am not going out to kind of have the the drama of, oh my gosh, I'm in a shopping center, I need to pull this out. Like I'm at home. So it's a really good, comfortable time for me to kind of test out these things. So if you like this video, please remember to give me the like button as a subscribe and the bell notification so you'll get the notification of the next one. So my videos are more fitness based videos, but I do put some other things in there and I'm pretty open and raw and honest about my life and um, my periods. So hope to see you next time and don't give up on the cups. Like, if, like I had a complete disaster with these, right? Or this or whatever, like... You know, I thought it was good, then it wasn't good and a complete disaster, but don't give up on them. Like, find the right one for you because at the end of the day, we're all built differently. Anatomy is built completely different. So, you know, what it works for someone else might not work for someone else and it's a matter of trial and error. So, you know, do some research, get to know yourself and figure out what's good for you in this whole period experience. So peace out, guys, and all the best.